welcome one more. My name is Tavis, and uh, today I want to start off by saying thank you because we have hit a hundred subscribers. I know by YouTube standards that is not much to shout about, but for me personally, that is actually really nice. So we're not gonna have a grand celebration this time, but I promise you that once we reach the next milestone, we are going to do something special. For now, you have my thanks and my appreciation. Now, on to the video. What we have here is a launch, the standard configuration for a combat patrol of the inner sphere. And, well, beyond that, we have a commando, a blackjack, a Later, I think, if I pick the right file, I can't actually remember. It's been a while since I printed that one out. This is the long range missile combination, and of course, the make that started the entire idea, the Black Knight. So, what we're doing today is a bit different. We are going in and actually painting this lance inspired by the Imperial Fists. A, uh, chapter of Space Marines from the Warhammer 40k universe and um, well their standout thing is that their armor is yellow like yellow yellow and I was like that is my weakness I can't paint yellow to save my life so it's like how about we sit down and actually try to paint proper yellow really push the envelope so I formulate an idea of how to do this and we start off by base coating them technically we start by priming them because the prints themselves when they came out were in a reflective silver that's really special but we give them a simple, simple coat of brush on primer we hit them with some bone white and now we are giving them a good solid whip of oh is it called oak or something Bottle. Sorry for that. Sulfide Okra, which is a um, war paint from Arm Painter. It's a dark mustard yellow in the can and comes out fairly yellow. Now, of course, one coat will not be enough. We are going to have to give it one coat and then let them dry. And uh, well, as you can see, it's technically good enough to kick off on its own. But we need more yellow. This a quick view of all the hex painted yellow. First layer. And then we go on to the second layer. There's not much more to say about it. But you have to put on two or three layers, I would say, before things look really good. And between the layers, layers I gave them a um, hit with a combination of a uh, uh, dark tone and a uh, yellow ink that I have from a, just a random ink bottle uh, giving a sort of sepia toned uh, wash that I give all of them because basically the only problem with these 3D print models are that the lines are not as deep as they would be on a, a costed model so now going over all the washed areas again making sure we have a poppy paint area giving them a more Stand out feeling. 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 Is the feeling stand out? No. Feature was what I was looking for. <laughs> feeling. Dear Lord. Yes, the most, most more standout features picking out the raised areas in this yellow, setting aside from the wash in the recesses. Now, this, of course, is something you can keep on doing and doing and doing and doing in your history. You're happy you lost all detail because yellow is that kind of paint. You can just keep on adding. But since I always want a bit more of a rough and tumble feel for my mix, especially in the sphere ones, I felt that I had to stop at some point. And of course, um, painting in the cockpit areas, we're going to wash those with a uh, contrast paint from 
blue contrast paint from Games Workshop because we don't have any speed paint set. We are looking forward to the speed paints. We are gonna get the speed paints, but we are not privileged enough to get a preview of the speed paints. So I have to wait until February ish when everyone else gets them. Unfortunately. Yeah. Also, if you wonder why the different desk is, I was fixing the color. I said earlier on, so the light was really bad because uh, the light situation was all over the place. So I threw out the old lights, bought new desk lamps, and but while I was getting those, I had to continue painting, so I had to switch to my editing desk and sit at that painting. That's why we have a wooden background now instead of the usual grimy white. I mean, it's not really important, but some of you might wonder. So yeah, edge highlighting. This is your standard, usual. Not much to say about it. Apply a watered down color paint to the brush. Have a long bristle brush, it makes it easier. Apply carefully along the edges. Take your time. If you don't get the pop you want, add a little bit more of a brighter color to it. I'm using a mix of demonic yellow and uh, moonstone. Moon, moon, moonstone, I think it's called moonstone. Moon, moaning. Moonstone Dust, I think it's the name of it. No, just Moon Dust. It's called, so it's a mix of um, demonic yellow and moon dust used to get the edges in. I also threw in a dash of Phoenix Flames along the lines just to get a bit more reddish, softer tone to it. Anyway, this is where all your heavy lifting goes because this is what makes it really stand out. And as I said, these makes have fairly shallow lines, and that means that they are hard to pick out sometimes because the 3D printer have ain't. It's, it's, it, let me check like this. It's not a 4K printer. It has issues with thin details. Now, there is nothing wrong with Solid's models. They're great, but they could be optimized. Then again, they're free, so I'm not complaining. I'm just pointing out that sometimes you need to go in and really hit them because otherwise some details get lost. Also, I have a bad tendency to lose details on the side of the make that hits with light often. So the underside of the arms, for example, where resin pools and it hardens, you lose a bit of detail. But I mean, it is what it is. So if you're still here, you might wonder who the heck are the Imperial Fists and why are we having these specific mechs represent them? Well, the Imperial Fist is a siege, are siege specialists. They do siege. So I want a, a lance to get hit at any range. Now, the Commando is the Death Knell version, which means it swaps out a lot of SRMs for lasers. It's not optimal, but it was the model I had at hand, so how to do. The Blackjack is a solid medium make, long range fighter, good sustain. The Crusader picked has a long range missile setup, which basically makes it a. It basically makes it an archer, to be quite honest. But anyway, it's mostly because they are crusading chapters, it's called the Crusader, so it's mostly that. And of course, the Black Knight is a downright monstrosity. Very hard hitting. Lasers, energy weapons, very angry. Also, it's a knight, and well, space marines are knights, so uh, uh, it's not always perfectly logical, but that's the way. So, yeah, edge highlighting, as you can see, massive difference to the mech. And uh, as you can also see, the um, cockpit window, uh, the effect was achieved by firstly painting it white, then taking a bit of grey and um, darkening part of the glass and then heating it with the same blue contrast paint. Now, um, this is new light setup. Um, do tell me if you like it or not. I'm not entirely sure yet myself, but I kind of like it. It's nice, soft, even light. And um, 
Yeah, here you can see the sort of careful edge highlighting. Soft and gentle, long bristle brush. Uh, I had flipped the camera the wrong way around, so that's why I'm way to the side. Normally that would be in the middle, but yeah, you know, it is what it is. So, yeah. And of course, nodding back to the Imperial Fist, this is the Commander Lance, and he's carrying a red helmet because that is what they do. Because apparently Codex compliant chapters do that. I played Dark Angels back when I played Warhammer 40k, and um, well, they are not Codex compliant in really any way, shape, or form. So I don't care about that usually, but it's still, it, it's a nice pop. I mean, it doesn't really matter in the Veltech universe because, well, it's not like you're aiming in that regard anyway. So yeah, we're now basically going over all the edges again. Um, now with a um, slowly and carefully painting in all the details. And this is to emulate light hitting these sharp edges and refracting. Now, on a mech this size, you could do a sort of reverse zenithal with love light hitting from below because they're quite tall. So there would be an amount of reflection of light hitting elements on the ground too. Not fun, but um, I didn't go too deep in that. But you can, you can, you can, you can, you can do that. It's doable. Uh, especially if you want to get some drama into it, you can have a um, source light from below. Let's say yes, do the classic. You have a bluish light from above and a reddish light from below. You could really make that pop with edge highlighting. Sort of tie it together. It's really cool. Now, I'm not doing this today, but it's something you can do if you want to. But yeah, this is... This both the, in my mind the funnest and the most time-consuming stage because again you have to go really slow be really really picky about it and um, if you do this right it's going to sell the 3d if sense of the make much better than any model and if you combine a good edge highlight with a good wash it is night and day Something goes from looking fairly 2D to looking really 3D. It was a good way to apply if you want something to look worn or distressed. You store a nice edge highlight and then you do some shipping, light shipping on it. Not that kind of shipping. I see you out there, you, you in the red shirt. I see you. Not that kind of shipping. Shipping as in paint chips. Yeah. Anyway. So. Why am I doing a Space Marine squad in Battletech? Well, A, Battletech seem to be in sort of, oh, if you're abandoning Games Workshop, here's a cool game. They don't really have anything in common, but I, mean, I can understand the feeling. And um, Catalyst has pushed hard getting new models out. I, as far as I heard, it's still a plan to get them out to the stores as soon as they are done with the Kickstarter fulfillment, which is rounding off as we speak. So you should be starting seeing uh, Lances and Stars, which is the clan equivalent. Basically squads in stores. It's very nice. It's always been difficult up to this point to get good mix. The old metal ones look... Well, they're very 80s. They're adorable, but they're pretty. These are pretty, but up to the Kickstarter, which of course, about two years old, old now, you only had a handful of them. So, things are happening. It's good. There's a new Black Knight model, that is a multi-part model they're trying out, which was really nice if you can still get it. You never know. I don't know. Anyway, as a sphere, slowly going over. You can see the difference already. When light hits these brighter areas, they pop. And that's really nice. But yeah. Um, I thought it was be a fun little idea. Sort of have uh, the worlds of Battletech and um, Warhammer 40k colliding. And if people like this, I can do more of these. I have I have a lot more chapters I can do scolds for. 
Det här var den här deodunga i Space Wolf. Squad, vilket låter dem uppklossen på som mix. Like Hunchbacks, Hatchetmans, Axeman, King Crab. Everyone wants a King Crab. King Crabs are nice. Anyway, as if you liked it, uh, yeah, hit the like button, leave a comment, tell me what you want to see. This channel is as much yours as mine. I mean, I'm the one putting the content, but you're the one watching it. And if you don't watch, then there's not much channel to have, is there? Right. We are pretty much rounding up here to the end. And what is left painting wise is just adding details. We are going to add some more washes. We are going to highlight some weapons. We are going to, well, you can see the blue color, by the way. Yeah. We wash the weapons, we put some uh, paint on the shoulders, because the Imperial Fists have red trim on their shoulder guard pads. And I felt like that. But if you're a sergeant, you have a red trim. If you're everyone else, you have a black trim, or a green trim, or a white trim, depending on what your specialization is. But I felt this was kind of fun to add in a little bit of color. A bit of pop. So yeah. As for an exercise in painting yellow, I feel this has gone well. It is a marketed improvement for myself in painting yellow. And I mean, is that what this was all about? Yes, it was. The whole idea was for me to get better at painting yellow. And I feel I've done that. Could have done more? Yes. But done less, probably. So yeah. Let's do the beauty shots, shall we? This is what we started with. And this is what we ended with. A fairly good looking bunch of guys, I would say. And uh, until next time, stay safe, be kind, and do play fair. Bye.